Thank you very much. Good evening. Uh, that was Halo from the video game, the third version. Um, good, good music, great stuff, fun to play. Um, our next piece, Apollo 11, is going to be conducted by Miss Newton. Miss Sarah Newton was our student teacher with us from March until May, so she spent a good two months with us. She's from SUNY Potsdam, the Crane School of Music, and she has done a fantastic job working with us, and she drove about five hours yesterday to come to our rehearsal and to be here tonight to conduct Apollo 11. Thank you.
again to Miss Newton. She really did a fantastic job. Um, and now that she's done her first performance and her first conducting, uh, at the end of her student teaching, she said to me, you know, I wasn't sure when I started, but now that I'm leaving and it's the last couple weeks were really great, I can do this. And that is the best thing I have ever heard because I love working with student teachers and she did a fantastic job and she had a lot of fun. And so thank you and thank the students because I think she was in the best place she could have been. So thank you again. Our next piece, Legend of Phantom Canyon, is going to feature Ben Malloy on the trumpet. It was originally a duet, unfortunately, tonight. It's going to be a solo with just Ben, because we're missing one. So, let's go, Ben. All right. Enjoy Legend of Phantom Canyon. Thank you. Our last song, Sax Attack, will feature the saxes. 
So we hope you enjoy that. It's been a pleasure working with these students. Thank you for your support, as always, for listening to the countless hours of practicing, the concerts throughout the year on a beautiful night here, finally. We've got some warm weather. It looks like a great weekend coming up. And seventh grade parents, I look forward to seeing you again next year. Thank you.
This evening we're going to change it up a little bit and have a low brass ensemble and some bassoons because we fit them in. So No, they're really great. These are the guys that started over the summer this year. And look, they're already playing with an ensemble. It's awesome sounds. So on tuba we have J.D. Asplin, Graham Wetterston, and Don Massavera. On bassoon, Will Lefton and Ian Marinsek. On trombone, Mike Siano. And on baritone, we have Dan Manzella and Caleb Bonnie who are playing Pirates of the Caribbean for you. We've prepared this during their lessons, and I should tell you that even they gave up study hall time and some lunch time to put it together, and it's really cool, so I hope you enjoyed it.
Sorry, we have only one microphone tonight. The other one's mysteriously missing, and they have multiple solos. So if you see me running around frantically with a microphone, it's all for good reason. <laughs> I had to make a clear path back there for Eric. I'll make sure I get back there. Okay. very much. Uh, I wanted to recognize our two soloists uh, in that song, One O'Clock Jump. We had first on the vibes, Eric Swanson. And secondly, No Evening is Complete Without Some Jazz Tuba by Jack Hoffaker. And what was uh, even more notable, ooh, that was a bad music pun, wasn't it? More notable about their solos is uh, they wrote those themselves. I just gave them a couple parameters, I gave them the, what the piano chords were, and I just let them loose. I didn't do anything with them other than them writing them and playing them. So I thought that was pretty impressive. Oh, 
Hello, my name is Joseph Jonas, and I'm in eighth grade. On behalf of the jazz band, I would like to thank to I'd like to thank Mr. Searle for being such a wonderful conductor and a teacher these past few years, as he has done so much for us right from when he taught us to play our first note. Learning from him, we have all developed a love and appreciation for music that we will carry with us for the rest of our lives. We are we all look forward to having him again next year, whether it will be in middle school jazz band or for the eighth graders moving on, and high school band next year. So from all of us, thank you, Mr. Searle. Good night. <laughs> I don't have to finish now. Let's get Our next song, uh, Harlem Nocturne, is a uh, slower song. And it was made famous going back to the days of the Mike Hammer series. Anybody remember that? No? Yes! One person. You're older than me, right? <laughs> Not sure. Uh, this is Harlem Nocturne, and we will feature a uh, saxophone group uh, solely in the middle.
Okay, did anybody recognize it now that you heard it? Okay, there we go. All right. Uh, before we go on to our last tune, I would like to recognize uh, the eighth grade students in the group. Um, many of them have been uh, in the Jazz Ensemble all three years. Uh, they begin to be eligible in sixth grade to audition for the group. Um, and actually, this goes for all the students up here. Uh, the dedication it takes to be in the group, um, those parents know this year my schedule is really wacky because I teach high school every other morning. So their schedule changes every week. Sometimes it's Monday, Wednesday, Tuesday, Thursday, Tuesday, Thursday, Monday, Wednesday. And they still manage to keep it straight and show up and bring all their stuff at 7.30 in the morning. So I think, you know, that deserves a little recognition because that's going above and beyond to make some music and be honest. And I appreciate it because I really enjoy working uh, with the Jazz Ensemble. And I wanted to recognize my 8th graders. I'm going to start in the back. And I don't have any 8th graders in the back. Good, okay, so I'm going to move over to the trumpets. I have Linus Santi, Luke Simmons, Sullivan Fitzgerald, and Emily Adamanchuk, all 8th graders, moving on to 9th grade next year. In my low brass section, which is almost everyone, I have Will Lefton, Caleb Bondi, Greg Macarulo, Caleb Scream, and Luke Gatesy. And in the front row, I have Janae Greenholtz, Caitlin Canavan, Lauren White, Kyle Sokol, Joe Drehos, Carter Backus, and I think that's it, right? You guys are. Oh, and Ian, I'm sorry, Ian. And Ian Doyne, all eighth grade. If you guys would stand up, please. Oh, and my guitar, Dan Manzella. So sorry, Dan. Okay, sit down. <laughs> Did anybody happen to notice anything funny about my eighth graders in the front row? About one of them? So we did want to recognize Kyle because he did come. I, I don't think he missed a rehearsal, maybe one all year long, and then broke his arm, unfortunately, a week before the uh, concert. So uh, we didn't want him to come out here and be part of the group because he is. So that's why he has the saxophone. All right, we're going to finish up with it. You got applause. You didn't even play anything. Nice. Nice. You only have to play your instrument to get applause. Nice, man. We're going to finish up with the Blues Brothers classic from the movie Soul Man. Oh, I have solos, I forgot about On sax, I only have Lauren White, and she'll be uh, playing a sort of a duet with Joe Drehos.
gentlemen. I'm Isabel Capper and this is Sarah Dunbar. Tonight we're going to do a duet of the song Let It Go from Frozen. We'd like to de dedicate this piece to Mrs. Thrilla. Thank you. Let it go. 
And that was Viper, what we started with. So next you'll hear Wing Walker and a little bit about the piece. Wing Walker is a piece that was inspired by the fearless acts of those who risk life and limb for the sake of entertainment. At first, wing walking was conceived as a way for World War I pilots to fix mechanical problems in mid-air. However, in the post-World War I era, the flying circus provided a platform for war veterans to show off their flying skills, and the wing walkers took center stage. Accordingly, this music can be characterized as edgy and always on the brink. So, we hope you enjoy our wing walker.
Hi, um, I'm Isabel Caput again, and this is Paris. So, I'm Paris Evans. Hello, my name is Paris Howard. For the past few years, Mrs. Cirillo has helped us all grow as instrumentalists. Thank you for your time. You have footprints on all of our hearts. Thank you. Well, thank you. This is hard to follow. These are gorgeous flowers, and two years is a long time to get to know students, um, and a lot of them, four years, from when they started in fifth grade and during summers and lunches and study halls. They're always in my room, uh, but truly they are fantastic children, and you really get to know them well. They're all kinds of fun, studious, crazies, and everything, and it has been a trip for two years, but I wouldn't trade this group for anything. And some of you I know are going, wow, she really has lost it at this point. Um, but truly, they're wonderful. I wouldn't trade what I do for anything, because this is why. To get up here and perform and watch them grow. I would never sing in front of people when I was this age, oh my gosh. And I taught them, and they feel like they can do that. It's amazing. It's great. Um, it's just great. Thank you so very much for your support. I wish them all the best in the next four years, and I will be at their concerts in the audience. I like to sit right over here because I can see you all and, and watch the next four years of their lives and everything that they choose to do. Um, it is just great. I can't say enough. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, June 6th, we're off to the High Note Festival, which I look forward to very much because I get to spend the day with them after all these years of hard work. They deserve it, and it's a lot of fun. We'll be playing Viper and Fanfare, which we played in March. And without any further ado, we're going to play for you Susan Palooza. I'm sure I'll recognize it all. Thank you again. Enjoy the summer and a great end to the school year. Thank you.
Because I'm going with you, aren't I? Long day for you. Uh, how are you doing? 